Hi, welcome to my tutorial on the Atlassian Confluence Populator. <clears throat> this tutorial will give you a quick guide on how the Atlassian Populator works and how you can get started. Okay, let's get going. Um, so this is a scenario, you have an empty Confluence instance that you want to do testing on, whether you might be doing uh, third party development or just upgrading uh, to a new version, you need some test data. So what's the problem with um, the old uh, populators. Well, one of them is that you need uh, to update the config file with the auth and also the uh, uh, the base URL of your instance. Um, and also it's that the data is quite stale, it's just basically all lot of MIPSOM and it's all created by the same user, which is usually admin. So with the Lassing populator, we can click here. It's a Chrome extension, so basically it uses the auth currently on your session here on the instance. Um, and it has some preset data that can help you get started without not knowing too much about it. So these top three buttons here just had some preset data, which is um, they'll create a space with some comments, um, with some pages, and then some comments in those pages. Um, the content will be rich, so we include macros and images and attachments, so it's not just uh, basic data. Um, at the bottom here, we have some quick fire actions. Okay, and I will go through them shortly. But for now, let's get our instance looks quite empty so let's um, generate some content. What I'm going to do here is also click on this randomized users setting that would create content with various users uh, picked at random. Okay so we, we want a realistic instance so let's go complex so that will create us the greatest the great um, the biggest amount of users and content um, setting available. Okay I think that's finished Okay, so what's done here, it's, so it's already logged me in as another user. So let's just go through this. Okay, so there we go. That's our content. As you can see, it looks much more like a, like an actual conference instance should be. Uh, we have avatars available. So let's have a look. Okay, that's beautiful. So you can see make your testing more realistic. Okay, I think it stopped creating. So this uses are still creating. So this basically uses a new REST API which was launched initially in Confluence 5.5. It's very fast and e efficient. So let's go into one of these pages and use the preset actions. Okay, so we have a page here, uh, we have a space, uh, home page, and we want to add some more content in that space. So, we've got the child page here, and we'll, so let's give it 10 pages. Okay, that's gone off. And we have 10 pages. Okay, so let's go into those pages. Okay, as so you can see, rich content, we have image, this has images. Um, so we can see there's no labels, there's no comments, so we need to fix that. Okay. Okay, let's add some labels as well. And some attachments. Okay, straight away we've been notified. Hey, there's 10 comments. So here are the comments. Okay, as you can see, they're all created by the same user. Let's change that. Um, there are the labels and attachments. Let's have a look. So it's very quick and efficient. Um, so Okay, so all those comments got created by the same user. Let's say we want random users. So we click on randomize users, comments. Okay. Let the Alaskan populator do its magic. Okay. 20 comments by random users. I 
Okay, as you can see, there was no off files to update. The content is rich. Um, there's other features such as blog posts and actual individual spaces that you might want to create. Um, yeah, so try it out now. Thanks for tuning in. Atlassian Conference Populator. Thank you.